you know, because they grew up in an environment. What about if they took their own, uh, the, it's the same thing that what uh, Darvall, uh, 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 what's his name, um, Bukowski, uh, the rest of them did, took Hungarian folk melodies. Mm -hmm. And now we listen to those things, oh, oh, this is like precious jewel. Well, what are not about the people who live in those environments play and improvise what they play? They can use this as a structure. But not try to learn the notes and the chords and the what's they 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 ain't created nothing that I've heard so far. I I haven't seen no movement in jazz since the colleges have taken over. Since education has taken over jazz, I haven't seen and it's and I I said the same thing before education took it over. I said the same thing about classical music because I understood it very clearly then. What fucked up classical music was when they put it in the schools. I think that's a very serious and important statement. I want to help you get it out in a book. Well, it, it might be wrong, but for as far as I can see, as far, as far as I, no, let, let me rephrase that. As far as I hear, which is our most powerful organ, I haven't heard any uh, other than where well, you have Charles Ives. He was an insurance salesman. I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't an educator. I mean, uh, uh, Aaron Copeland might have been an educator, but I, and you had uh, Virgil Thomas. But I didn't hear from Virgil Thomas what I heard from uh, Aaron Copeland and Charles Ives, and I didn't hear from uh, uh, heard anybody else that I've heard uh, like like you hear from uh, 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 Leonard, Leonard Bernstein. Bernstein, his name right? West Side Story and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Why why are these people not being produced anymore? If you're not letting them come through, like they used to be able to come through the system, then they never will get to the system to help the system. And what, had, what is going on now is a total lockdown because academia has to be in control of every goddamn thing as far as the music thing is concerned. If they're not involved in it, then it ain't happening. And that's where the fuck up is. That's why you got kids running listening to that crazy shit that boy was listening to uh, the uh, shout up all them people. You won't allow the real music to be out here. Why? Because it shows up a whole lot of stupidity and non-common sense from people who are in control. And that's what's going on. The people who create shit, the people who have that kind of spirit, they, they can't rise up through the system no more. You know? And if they mm -hmm. can't rise up through the system, how, who's going to influence the system? You know, you know you I know you understand exactly what I'm saying because of your own position. You can see that. I was, I, just when you paused, I was thinking about students... And what sort of student makes it? What sort of student doesn't, doesn't make, make it? it? Right. And why? The well, system. Well, the lack of preparation. Preparation to do what? To do well in that system. In the academic part of that's the system. That's what I'm saying. And that's yeah. where the fuck up. Now, you didn't do that, with, uh, especially when, uh, uh, with the beginning of football. Now it's more control. But when they really wanted to win with football, when they really wanted to win in sports... I mean, it took a long time for them to find a Jackie Robinson. Because there were black black athletes, yips in them who, who was, could uh, uh, do more, bat more home runs than, than Babe Ruth. There would always be in the system, I mean, in the hood, these people. But now they can't get out of the system. So what do you have them doing? Uh, 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 Buster rhyming and that kind of stupid shit. I mean, I don't even like that shit. Yeah, it, it's not talking to me. Mm-hmm. But I guess it is saying something to people who need to hear that kind of crap. I saw what I thought was maybe his uh, uh, car with uh, his initials in, in rhinestones uh, when the hump was up in New York. Oh, yeah. I'm saying, that's so sad. That's, that's sorry. You know? What's, I mean, I, I know rich people who are trying to hide the fact they got a dime in their pocket. <laughs> you know, make, make sure, like, uh, no, look here. Uh, uh, I'm as poor as you. You know? But then you got this other scene that's prompted from the powers that be because that's the only the other thing no one ever said in that Amos and other bullshit. It is no black people. That's why you don't have no more Motowns. You don't have no more Barry Gardens because you won't let anybody else distribute the records. You know? Mm -hmm. And if black people can't distribute the records, then you're not going to get no real influx of good music. What you're going to have is this bullshit you got going on. Those are corporations. Mm -hmm. And just front for a corporation. It has nothing to do with talent. It has nothing to do with, our, with, with putting the spirit out in the environment that could save people. 
when you stop the spirit from happening, then you get the people like Jim Hagee down there in, in, in Austin talking about, it, oh, uh, and, and Jesus said this, and God said that, and it's coming to the end. Who in the fuck told him that goddamn stupid ass shit? You know, see the idiot sitting up there like he's like he know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and, and 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 it's coming to an end, and we have we going over to Jerusalem. What is dumbass going to Jerusalem for? And he ain't got no white folks going. You know, he got a, a, a cathedral, half of them full of Mexican and a few black people, and a very few white people. It's only white people who take over that Israel. What kind of ignorance is that? It's a piece of dirt. Don't the people get that? It's a piece of dirt. Yeah, some people stand around and bow their head and, and do all this other rituals to that shit. They're fine, let them do that shit. But don't have to include me into that dumbass, stupid shit. So I don't understand why nobody is waking up around here and looking at the reality. It's dumbass, get five, go right back to the same old shit. Education, the government. The music business wasn't in the jazz when I came in on. That's, you just put your finger on three of the principal problems. This music came out of the black neighborhoods and you had the children's circus and Duke Ellison coming down here to play. But it wasn't for the white folks. It was, down, it was down there at the uh, 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 Ninth, Street Ho- uh, uh, Ninth Street Hotel. The black folks supported it. Same way as James Brown, James Brown, when I was a teenager, his ass couldn't even come to Dallas. Why? Because every time his black ass come to Dallas, they'd have a shooting. Somebody had to do some shooting just at the end of his concert, just so they'd be known too. They didn't got on their uh, Sunday go to meetings. Oh, they don't go to church no goddamn way. But some way they got won some money and got on a new suit and shit. And how you get seen? Fire a couple of shots in the air. We're not talking about killing now. We're talking about. You know, shooting and everybody breaking and running like we, like I had had to do several times at parties. You know, somebody bring a gun just, but not we wasn't shooting each other. Right. Now it's the goddamn motherfucker got to shoot everybody. Seventeen goddamn clips. They talking about the two guns. Where the motherfucker get seventeen clips from? You know, nobody asks the serious question about this shit. Anyway, the shit is so fucked up that the music business, the education business, and the distribution business won't allow for creativity. It did the same thing with art. I'm talking about paintings. Mm-hmm. When, uh, when, when I was standing there and what became Soho, and it became Soho while I was living there, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the transformation. I'm looking at this evolution of from the old garment district with abandoned buildings and nobody coming down and one grocery uh, uh, a bodega it was, a Puerto Rican store that was open, wasn't, didn't even open on Saturday and Sunday because there wasn't nobody down there. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, it becomes Soho. Why? Because you had all these artists. You had art brought, brought in from way, way back in the, in the back parts of Canada, in the backwoods of America. And then there was this woman named uh, 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 Alex Trousseau. And other people had unbelievable art. But they all got run out. They're just like overnight. Why? Because the rich people had to say that they were artists. And how they say they get some canvas and throw some shit up on it, and some uh, asshole who's supposed to be a critic. Why is he a critic? Because his mama owns uh, a, 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 a part of a garment uh, industry or something. Not because he know anything about art. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I hear this shit all the time from people who be talking about, oh, uh, uh, oh, so and so. You know, uh, he was uh, 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 this, uh, 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 ran this art gallery. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a merchant. He's selling the product. He ain't the. He, it ain't him you're buying. Mm-hmm. You know, people are getting so stupid about you. Oh, so and so, he owns this. He owns that. What the fuck are you talking about? Speaking of artists, how's Sonny doing? Not too good. His wife is dying, mm-hmm. and it's in that last stage of the up and downs. Mm-hmm. And she's already on dialysis. And, and and being fed intravenously. So she's gone. In the she's gone. I mean, she's been gone some time. I mean, she's still physically here, mm-hmm. but she's physically here because the same point, back to the same shit. Because the insurance, she got insurance that pays for it. Mm-hmm. If the insurance didn't pay for her to be in that nursing home, and the insurance didn't pay to be on dialysis, that's some other bullshit. You know, I had another friend of mine, Billy, Billy Ali. 
who was living when I came back. She was a black girl that uh, Ed Bash used to come get a ride, uh, have him ride, have her ride around in the limousine. She and I went to high school together. Mm -hmm. She also has a son by Arnie Coleman. And I, uh, when she had dollars, we had a party here for her in my back. We were going to have in the backyard. And it was in April too. And that's when I found out. You no, know, with Julius, that's when I found out because I was also uh, sitting around, sitting with Julius almost for two years. I sit with him every night because his uh, uh, Ursula, his girlfriend, had left me with an American Express card and paying the rent on the apartment and, uh, and a maid to clean up. But she had moved ten blocks away at this point. She was. Did by the apartment next door uh, on the other side of the elevator. By then, she, now she's moved way up uptown. Mm -hmm. Then I found out about our dialysis. You can't buy a dialysis machine. You can lease one. Well, what else do I know? I know from practicing Buddhism when this girl, uh, 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 Clara Schlumber J, part of the Schlumber J family who controlled when you, you get ready to dig some oil, you got to lease. You can't buy the rigs. You got to lease the goddamn rigs to get it out, get your oil out. Mm -hmm. That's a difference. If you can own your shit, then you're in your own business. When you got a lease, then you're at the mercy of who's controlling your lease. Mm -hmm. Same way as you, you live around where I live, on 87th Street in New York, you, every six months businesses are changing. Why? Because somebody at least done ran out and they're tripling the price on it now. Well, Dallas machine are leased at $250,000 or more. Why? Right? That was a long time when I, go, when I was looking, at, looking into it. Mm -hmm. What is this kind of game about? Now you have you have spot Sonny Ben. His wife is over there. She's been basically uh, been uh, the the body is there. She's been dead for about the, about the last six seven months. Mm. She can't feed herself. She can't go to the bathroom. She can't do nothing. But why is she living? Because insurance is paying for that. Insurance will pay for this person to be dead. But this person over here trying to get in the emergency room down there at uh, Peter Smith, which is a local uh, hospital for the hood. Away, you might go in at seven in the morning. Might get seen in three after three in the afternoon. Oh, it's 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 got to the point where it's, it's better now to keep somebody alive. Isn't that what a living will is for? You can say how you want to be. Re but you're talking about the living will. I'm talking about the living system. The system now is that it is cost. What does it cost to send a person? To, how many colleges have they built in California in the last six years or five years? And then equate that with how many prisons they have built. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And I'm talking about, here's a woman that's on dialysis. The body is there, but the woman's been dead for some time. Mm -hmm. Why is she kept alive? Because the insurance companies are paying for it. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, somebody over here has been in an accident and, and, and lost half their leg or, 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 or having a heart attack. Could be dying in the hospital and instead of talking about fill out these insurance papers, oh, you don't have insurance, well, we can't do nothing. Oh, we can keep a dead person alive, but can't help a person that's alive get well. That's it.